This is my spader, which is the uh, primary tillage tool on the farm. I use it for incorporating pretty much all of my cover crops. It uh, needs to operate at slow speed, and so that's, you know, one disadvantage is that when you're bringing that organic matter into the soil and that, I can't move very fast because it's a lot of biomass is chopping in there. But once it's in the ground and I've made a couple of passes, then I can go in with a field cultivator and do a very rapid pass, make a nice smooth seed bed, and then I'm ready to go. It's like a number of shovels and it just cuts clods. It does a good job of, of chopping the straw into the soil, but you get nice clods in that, and, and then over time that they can break down slowly, so it's much gentler on your soil structure, and it doesn't oxidize all that organic matter you're trying to bring into the soil. When I first came here, there was a rototiller, so that's what I learned on for primary tillage, but uh, I really didn't like what it did to the soil. I really beat the soil up like an egg beater. And I, and I heard about uh, spaders being much better for soil structure and better at incorporating biomass and not oxidizing it. So this seemed to be a much better implement for improving my soil quality. And that's really you know, important for me is, is uh, doing the best I can for my soil. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.